Hey everyone, it's turning out to be a very warm Oklahoma day. Warm, humid. I, it's weird how my timing's going. I, 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 got, I left the hotel real early to go to uh, Pops. Um, if you saw a previous video, I kind of gave it a two thumbs down. And I was way too early for the, where I'm at now, I was way too early for the National Cowboy and Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. But I pulled over anyways to grab some shade and I looked at the two distant Route 66 museums. One is the national one, I believe in Clinton, and the other one is the Oklahoma State one, which is in uh, Elk City, and they're about a half hour apart. The uh, first one, the national one, doesn't open up until one o'clock today, and the other one in Elk City doesn't open up at all. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed. Once again, you know, I kind of used the analogy one time of going to Disneyland with the idea of hitting all your favorite rides and. Then you get to Disneyland and uh, maybe uh, one of those rides is closed for the day or it's broke down when you're waiting in line for it or the line's too long. So uh, expectation management, I have to just keep, um, keep in mind that I'm not gonna be able to see everything I wanted to. So I decided to take a nice break in the shade here and wait for this one to open up. So where I was gonna bypass the uh, National Cowboy and uh, Heritage Museum, I'm actually going to see this one and then uh, move on down the road and see the National Route 66 Museum. Then I'm overnight in Shamrock. But one thing I did, I'm watching this hawk fly. Wow. Uh, one thing that I, one thing I did want to talk about was starting connecting on Route 66 here in Oklahoma City. So oftentimes you hear of Route 66 being referred to as the Mother Road. That comes directly from uh, Steinbeck's novel, Grapes of Wrath, written in 1938, and 1939, the movie followed. So when Steinbeck is referring to the Mother Road and readers and viewers are looking at the Jode family traversing the United States, they pick up Route 66 in Oklahoma City and they leave Route 66 in Barstow, California. The Jode family story starts in, I believe the town is called Sayer, Oklahoma, I would say maybe it's 80 miles to 100 east of Oklahoma City. So in the book and in the movie, when you see Tom Joad meet up with his family uh, on the, um, on the uh, uh, tenant farms, and they're moving, they're moving westbound, that first portion where, they, where he meets up with his family and they get in the truck and they load and they start moving westbound, they join Route 66 for the first time in Oklahoma City. Then they travel through and they leave Route 66 in the city of Barstow, California. They don't go south into uh, San Bernardino or into Los Angeles. They leave and they go towards, uh, go due west and end up as far as what the viewer and the reader sees in a place in Bakersfield called Weed Patch. So from Barstow to Weed Patch, they're on what would be now today like Highway 58, uh, going through um, Boron, going past uh, Edwards Air Force Base, uh, going over the Tehachapis, other cities would be Mojave, city of Mojave, uh, going all the way eastbound in a in a straight azimuth, pretty much. So, and in the movie and in the book, they're in this weed patch migrant camp that I discussed earlier, and I have a video. I actually have been there. So they're in weed patch, but as the story goes on, the book and movie end with them in this weed patch, saying they found. Uh, more stable work in the city of Fresno north on the 99. So we as the reader and the viewer, we leave the Jode family in Weed Patch as they go on with their story up to Fresno. Now Tom, Tom Jode, uh, he's evading the law and he decides to break away from his family at that time because he feels that hanging out with the family is going to cause heat on them. So the Mother Road, according applied to the Grapes of Wrath, is from Oklahoma City, where I'm at now, to Barso, California. And remember, you know, the Route 66 gets incorporated and uh, incorporated, it gets instituted, it gets, it, it gets, uh, I don't, I don't know the right word, but in 1926 is when Route 66 comes into being. 1926, it was 1938 where uh, John Steinbeck coined the term the Mother Road, applying to that. But that portion was from Oklahoma City to Barstow. Now we talk about Main Street USA, we're talking about Chicago, the origin. To what now would be uh, Olympic, Olympic and Lincoln in Santa Monica. The original terminus in Los Angeles was on Seventh and Broadway in downtown LA. I think that lasted from 26 to 33 or 34, 
and then the highway acts that each highway has to end at another highway. So Route 66 being a east-west had to end at a north-south and that became Highway 1 in Santa Monica so then they extended the terminus to be on uh, Lincoln and Olympic in downtown Santa Monica, really close to the water and close to the Santa Monica Pier which people now end their tour and their trip on the Santa Monica Pier. So uh, I guess now what I'll be doing, I'll probably be talking a lot about the, uh, the traveling of not only the Jode family, but the other people evading the Dust Bowl era for those 10 years, 1930, 1939. One other notable thing I wanted to mention, when the Dust Bowl is portrayed at its greatest, the epicenter, if we can call it that, you think of the epicenter of an earthquake. Well, the epicenter for the 10 years of the Dust Bowl was really in the panhandle of Oklahoma. And it was in an area I want to say is called No Man's Land. There's a college out there now, but it's in the panhandle. And from that area, at a 45 degree azimuth, right into Tucumcari, New Mexico, is another highway. And why I call it that the epicenter is the devastation of that, of that weather system that was wiping out the plains areas. It was all over. It was in Oklahoma. It was in uh, Texas, New Mexico, parts of Colorado, uh, parts of Missouri. I mean, it just wasn't Oklahoma. But why I call that the epicenter is no matter where it hit geographically in those other states, it always seemed to be that either it was centered in that panhandle or the fringes of the other uh, towns that were being hit were hitting that panhandle. So they never caught a break. If you're living in the panhandle and they got a great museum, here comes some loud motorcycles, they got a great museum in that college area that unfortunately I couldn't get to. There's another museum that portrays the Dust Bowl and it's at a rest stop in Texas that I'm going to hit. Uh, there's a rest stop that portrays it and another one uh, is called um, Devil's Rope Museum, which talks about Bob wire. I'll never own a Harley. Um, it talks about Bob wire and, and the advent of Bob wire, the history, the evolution, the purposes from using it in wartime areas like World War I to uh, maintaining cows and cattle in open ranges. But that Bob wire, Devil's Rope Museum, uh, coexists with a, a Dust Bowl, Oklahoma, museum so i'm going to go to hit that and talk more about that but going into oklahoma city i just really did want to uh discuss and bring out that at this point i'm traveling what steinbeck would, would phrase the mother road here's an interesting thing though if you ever watch the movie which i recommend you do ironically after tom joe meets up with his family you see them load up the truck which i showed in another video i actually saw the vehicle used in the movie it's in a prior video i have in here but they load up the truck and they start moving towards Oklahoma City. Now in the movie, as they're moving towards Oklahoma City, they pan over and they see a sign and it just, it's a quick flash and it says Route 66. Well, that's inaccurate. From Sayre or Sawyer, Oklahoma to Oklahoma City, there is no Route 66, there wasn't. They pick it up in Oklahoma City and then they travel further west. So uh, that was just something I had caught knowing the, the geography and the infrastructure of where Route 66 actually runs to and from. But uh, that is oftentimes, I see hats, I see, I see mugs, I see shot glasses, t-shirts, license plate frames. It all says the mother road, and you can pick them up from Chicago all the way to Santa Monica. But uh, remember, Steinbeck uh, was referring to the plight of the other, not only people who lived in Oklahoma, but everyone working those tenant farms and leaving the devastation of the Dust Bowl. Well, the museum's gonna open up in a little bit. I'm sure I'll do some more footage in there of other uh, displays that they have, of other memorabilia. And then I'm moving on. I might hit another gas station in Hydro, and then I'm moving on to uh, Clinton to look at that uh, museum. So thanks again for tuning in. I hope you found this informative and interesting. It definitely has been a journey for me, and I can almost apply some of my plights to what they may have experienced, but not to the degree. I have AAA, I have, I have other medical insurance, I have, a, I have an ATM card, and there's plenty of people along the route that uh, are willing to help in the right towns. So remember, like, subscribe, don't forget out there, get out there and ride, and, and, and whatever your passion is, uh, fulfill it, get into it. Expectation management, not everything you expect to happen will happen, but some greater things will come your way as long as you leave, uh, leave an open mind, keep an open mind, and uh, be accepting to the environment around you. Take care, everybody. Uh, hope to have some good footage out of this museum soon, especially with that Route 66 one. All right, I'm out.